this is it. It's Goons Games and Game of the Goons Game of the Year or Goons Game of the Year. Goons, Goons Games Goons and Goons. Game of the Great Goons <laughs> Greatest Games. There we, go. there we go. They got it. Goons Greatest Games. All right. So uh, it was finally announced the official Game of the Year. Well, or the nominees anyway. And uh, I totally didn't remember that it's apparently six picks. So um, I remember actually talking about a podcast episode, what we thought would be on there. Yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, let's just go through it just for a quick second here. Alan Wake 2, which at some point I will finish because it is. It, it, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that later. Uh, Baldur, <laughs> Baldur's Gate 3, uh, Marvel Spider Man 2, Resident Evil 4, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Um, actually, what, what do you think? What do you think of this list? I, I mean, the, the list is pretty much, I think what we had said other than the fact that alan wake 2 is there i could have never saw that uh starfield got shafted for alan wake 2 yeah you know i i, I know that's like the meme go i'm not actually sure the meme going around but it's hard to actually say that starfield 2 or uh, starfield 2 starfield was like a game of the year yeah we waited so long to get it but it's not like it it's not so, like the like like the story super memorable. I mean, like like the right. amount of stuff you can do is super engaging, and there's a lot to do in it. But you know, you could like you compare that to like Spider Man Two, and you know, I don't know. I, I feel right. like <sighs> I I I was thinking the same thing too. Like I feel like Starfield probably should have been nominated just for the amount of stuff the game has, and like right. it might get joystick. It, Right, it'll probably get a golden joystick or whatever they're called. Right. But, yeah. like, at the same time, yeah, the problem was, like, Starfield died, like, literally a month after it came out. Like, I saw nothing about that game, uh, but, like, everybody was talking about Spider-Man. Uh, Baldur's Gate has literally run this year. Like, it, <laughs> it, honestly, the only two I'm, like, actually think have a big combat is Baldur's Gate and Zelda. And even Zelda was, like, it took a month or two, and then it kind of, like, fizzled out as well like breath of the wild people still talk about that game i haven't heard anybody talk about tears of the kingdom since like june maybe july yeah because you, you haven't get enough time made. for those documentary styles like what does this blade of grass mean well if you go through right. this <laughs> right this korok actually <laughs> slept with this other korok's wife and now we have to figure <laughs> out where where does the nut go where does it all go i i, yeah. I don't know but uh uh I mean, Baldur's Gate's definitely a great pick. Spider-Man, yeah, I mean, everybody's playing Spider-Man. It's great. Which is, like, why I feel like Baldur's Gate or um, Starfield should have got the pick. Like, a PlayStation exclusive and an Xbox exclusive. They don't look at it like that. I, I guess not, but, yeah. yeah there's no, uh, I, mean, Evil, I, mean, I I was talking about it in our Discord, which everybody should join it. Discord Dude, the nice chill. Slash nice. Goons Gaming right. Gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, nice. <laughs> but Resident Evil 4, like, it's a remake and the only reason i feel like it's nominated is because resident evil 4 is like the universally accepted greatest resident evil game to everybody i guess so i, I, I was always heard i always heard that like it's just the one of the best games ever made i never played it and i thought yeah. it'd be fun to play it like at some point i want to buy it on sale and then play it with you like sitting beside me because yeah. i feel like because yeah, yeah. you <laughs> cause I, I, cause I love that there, there's some horror elements in it right Oh yeah, there's jump scares. It, oh, okay. it gets like dark what's, and spooky at what, points. What, was five the one where they dropped like the uh the horror for action? Four I, was four was like the middle ground between horror and action, and then five was like just action, like no more horror. Chris Redfield was like shooting bold or punching boulders and shooting RPGs. <laughs> like, oh yeah. oh, five was the the boulder meme. Yeah, where he the just boulder like... meme. Yeah. <laughs> what a man! I mean, I don't know. I just thought it's yeah. cool. Mario is also a really big <sighs> surprise to me. I feel like yeah. that would have been like the winner of the family game category or whatever it's called. Oh, I still don't think like, it's going to be. Yeah, uh, but like Game of the Year nomination, that's huge. I mean, Nintendo again, I was, Nintendo. I, I was thinking, did did uh, did Odyssey get a Game of the Year get recommendation? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember I don't that I think all. it did for like this. Oh, really? Game of the Year. Was it nominated? 2017 Game Awards. Uh, it did. Uh, okay, you okay. <laughs> you know what it lost to? Breath, Breath of the Wild. Wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Um, 
So, okay. Uh, I have nothing actually against this list other than uh, with Alan Wake 2, a lot of people are saying like, so you play two different people. He plays Alan Wake and then there's like the investigator name. I think it's like Sage or something. Right, some random cop, yeah. right? Or something. Yeah, some, some girl who does like these crime scenes in her head. Um, I find it, her playing, uh, the playing her is unrealistically boring and made me want to gouge out my eyes. But um, apparently the Alan Wake parts are like phenomenal. It's like one of the best horror games ever made. Uh, so yeah, but like it took so long to get to like the fun parts. It took it took like three yeah. hours. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> like please. I'm not. I mean, I'm not saying that against it for game of the year. That one is just my experience. Um, Baldur's Gate three. It, there's so many. There's so many twists and turns in terms of like choices and outcomes. That right. it's a, that game still blows my mind. How much they've like programmed and thought about for that game. Dude, like, that, that, that have been a coding nightmare. Oh, <laughs> the, the code for that has to be like miles and miles and miles long. It's like like it's okay. insanity. It's like because you ate a banana at the start, you're now the demon lord of Saturn. There you go. That's the end game. Like right. that's like the yeah. butter. It's like butterfly effect. The game. Everything you do just like rolls down. <laughs> it's just crazy. Yeah, it's um, so insane. But like. So, I mean, again, not to knock it off any points, but that also means to me, like, the story isn't, like, I, we haven't beat it. Although, everyone should check out our playthrough of it, because we're playing every other Monday, the four, four squad. But, um, it's just, like, thank you, thank you. But it's, like, there's just so much to, like, reel in. And since there's so many different playthroughs you could go through and changing the story, I don't think anyone's going to, like, go back and be like, oh, man, Baldur Gate 3 story was amazing, because that's the one you picked versus, like, the other ways you could have gone right. about it right uh so but i mean uh, I'll, I'll go down the list here as part of my, my uh, moral spider-man 2 i mean that game that game is like beautiful Derek right. finishing it up he's gonna play it on stream or you should watch us play through of it um in our youtube uh, cat uh, uh catalog but uh, it's so good i was actually i was recently playing spider-man remastered because i you know i'm on pc and i got i got a new pc and right. I like it just it destroys that game. My my other PC was like it could run it pretty good, but like this is like it could run in 4K if I want to. I'm like, holy shit, this looks beautiful. <laughs> That's <laughs> but awesome. All that talk about like um like it's a slower game, a hundred percent true. I have a Spider-Man one. Right. Be because I'm like, oh, probably because they had the to compensate for the fact that there's another island, so like you needed faster expo explore uh exploration options. So they just made it right. swing faster. But anyway. Oh man, that game! I, I I don't I can't spoil anything for you, or and it's probably too soon for other people as well. But anyone who complains that the story's too short is actually just not. I mean, I, normally I would say there's there's never a, a right and wrong way to play a game, but there's actually a wrong way to play Spider Man, and that's right. like just playing the story and doing nothing else right. because. <laughs> Amazing games also don't need to be hundreds of hours long. We could have like a twenty hour game. Derek, we're gonna cancel. Derek, Derek, Derek. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> And then the story be amazing and you feel satisfied. And then guess what? You still play the game after because <laughs> it just is fun to play. Right. Oh, man, it's, I mean, the Venom powers are cool. Um, spoilers. Playing Miles gets both is great. Yeah. Have you seen Miles is like the, the Sue controversy by chance? No. OK, good. well, his his final suit is like the dumbest thing. And it's it's canon. So like it's it, it's not really a spoiler, but I'm, I can't describe it. No, don't look it up. Don't look it up. Oh, OK, don't, right. don't, don't look it up. <laughs> it, like it, it just it's just really stupid. It, I'll oh, just say okay. that much. And like a lot of people are like, why did they even do this? Like it, it's weird because like everyone agrees. Like this is a stupid suit and you made it canon. Um, right. But other than that, like I love the story. Just the combat, super fun, amazing game. I, I would almost give it a 10 out of 10, but we're going to do a review on it. So uh, stay tuned for that. Yeah. Um, I I never played Resident Evil Four, but I will say I personally don't believe remakes should be. Uh, they should have a different category in some way or another. I and mean, we get right. remakes every year, right? Like more or less. I, yeah, I think right. every year for like the lot. And you know what? Capcom is like the king of remakes at this point. <laughs> it's like they right. make a new Resident Evil, they make a remake the next year, or they remake <laughs> like Ace. Uh, what is that game? Ace Attorney. Phoenix. Oh Light. yeah. Uh, yeah. Or like. Uh, what else does Capcom do? Like, uh, they do like I don't know, just one-off terrible games. Like, uh, <laughs> what was that dinosaur game we played for? Like Turok? No. Oh, no. oh, I, I don't. That wasn't terrible, but um, it wasn't terrible. Exoprimal. Like, yeah, Exoprimal. Like, it was really it fun. It just like didn't last. The right. steam it needed. Yeah. 
Well, so yeah. like, but this Resident Evil 4 remake got exclusive DLC recently, right? Yeah, uh, they gave it like new DLC, which people were. I didn't actually. I totally what, forgot about that. Look, I just want to mention that is such an evil genius move by them because they know this game is like better than most other games ever made. So, like, what oh, if yeah. we just made like more a DLC for this old game? Like, yeah, it, it's absolutely right, and it's like it's a it's a money grab move, but it's also oddly uh, like pro consumer move because I'm sure people are happy that there's oh, like yeah. more story to it. Um. But yeah, I, I can't again, I, I'm only judging on the fact that it's a remake and I don't believe it should be there. But let me know in the comments, like yeah. if you believe that it like it, it, the argument for this game to be considered a, a game of the year, even though it's been out for technically like what, 15 years. Yeah, it was, it was on the GameCube. Yeah. <laughs> it, was on, it was on the GameCube. Yes, yeah, too. Yeah, right. Um, Mario Bros. Wonder. I I mean, it was a phenomenal game. Again, chilling. Check out our playthrough of it. It was super fun to play co-op um they messed up the online in some different ways it, it, it they messed up the boss battles in other different ways but it was like right. probably one of if not my favorite 2d platforming mario to date yeah but i'm not i'm not okay. counting mario maker 2 though that that i mean right that's right. just like a whole thing <laughs> right but, but like it, yeah mario it was, wonder was so, just like it was so unique every level had like an interesting like gimmick to it with the wonder flower the right. music was a banger the art style is amazing like uh, we we did a review for that one, so you could go check that out. Uh, we talk about <laughs> right. it more, but yeah, I mean, Mario wondered it deserves it. It it, it belongs there, right? It, yeah, it belongs there. But I would argue, I don't think. I, I, but putting Tears of the Kingdom right next to it is like right. apples to oranges. Like Mario Wonder is a great game, but Tears of the Kingdom, man, um, that, uh, that was I I personally hated Breath of the Wild in terms of a Zelda game, right. great open world game. Didn't have fun with Breath of the Wild. I'll stand my ground on that. Kind of like you in the uh, uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. It's like you yep. you think it's a great yep. pirate game, but and then you converted me, oddly enough. But um, <laughs> <laughs> it took like years, but it's like I, I went like a, a mental thought. Like I'm just like thinking about it. I'm like, <laughs> just like huh. in your room one day, just like, <laughs> oh, my God. He was right. <laughs> oh, my was right God. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Basically. But Tears of the Kingdom, the story banger, the right. the Gandor. I, look. I always said Twilight Princess had the best two, well, two boss fights in the series, which was, uh, well, uh, best two out of three because Doom was, uh, Demise was like, I think oh, hands yeah. down, like, yeah, but yeah. like up to, uh, up besides that, uh, uh, Zant is one of my favorite characters, amazing boss fight. It's like a, you know, boss battle remix for Zelda games. And then Gandor was just an awesome duel. This is blew everything else out of the water. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> Anime <laughs> battle that they have is just so incredible. I, I I don't know. Ganon is I mean, just such a badass in this game. I, yeah, I would argue in particular in this game, or it might honestly have the best boss battle I've ever experienced. I can't think yeah. of another one um, that, again, the other Zelda games I mentioned, like Twilight Princess, I have a, an emotional connection to, so I'm pretty biased. But right. uh, <laughs> but this one, I, pff, I I don't know if we can talk about, well, we can probably talk about spoilers, right? It's been a while. Been like, oh, it's been like, yeah, right, right, right. that game come out in May? So, like, first of all, like, the twists and turns, like, Zelda becomes, like, an eternal dragon, which makes time travel kind of weird and funky. Right. Um, right. Master Sword is, like, actually canonical in this one, because Breath of the Wild, you technically didn't have to get it. Um, right. It was an option. Right, it was an, an optional, right. like, weapon to get. But, yeah, uh, and but this one, it's, like, it was in Zelda for, like, centuries being restored. Like, what an amazing storytelling plot. Yeah. Uh, Gandorf sends waves of darkness minions against you followed by an insane samurai showdown followed by a goddamn super saiyan evolution in that fight so followed by cool. a dragon so fight cool. what the fuck oh my <laughs> where like i don't know where they came up with the lines and like the who was who was the storyboard writer for this game but you need to just stay there forever <laughs> continue just with zelda stay there because it's in good hands yeah i sorry I've, I've been i was frantically looking in my limited time where the Fuck my Gandorf amiibo is, but I'll uh, yeah my Zelda one <laughs> that like that that there. just released that's um yeah, like an it's amazing just, it's still it's amazing so yeah. good it's I, so good um actually I want to do another video with you uh, at some point soon about um oh a reboot of Smash because like like then the next entry would be like like a wouldn't be ultimate but obviously would be like a new Smash game but not enough characters right right it wouldn't be and I was gonna back right. Again. But I, I was gonna say we could we should finally get a Gandorf revision, and it's based on 
Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, give him a sword. Make him the the ninja warrior that <laughs> the, he is. The samurai that daddy that oh he transforms. Yeah. <laughs> give him the Super Saiyan like uh, upgrade as his like final smash. The, the, so oh, great. the only I, oh, I was gonna say maybe his final smash he turned into the dragon just like I, I don't know. But oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I like that. Yeah. Um, the only flaw I had with Tears of the Kingdom, and it's not even like nothing that I would deduct points for, but the fish boss fight i thought it felt more like a wind waker boss fight yeah they like when they like tried to keep it cartoony for some reason i don't know it was just like it it didn't fit with the other ones right right exactly battling these insane things like but it was really cool that you could find them all in like the underground and then like yeah yeah Yeah, Uh, it was so cool right it was uh, but like that uh, they finally added temples back that was awesome you know breath right. of the wild <laughs> they literally expanded the map like three times right. what it was in breath of the wild like it's not one for one for breath of the wild but like you got the sky the underground was just like so cool it was a nice like almost hard mode area for the game right right uh, i mean they literally took a perfect game and made it better and it's like how, <laughs> how? i no, obviously i would argue it's like they made they made their uh, uh, the best open world game finally into the best Zelda game. Like they made right, that right, transition right. to an actual Zelda yeah, game. I like that. Yeah. Um, it was just I don't know. I, I at some point would probably would go back to the game if they did DLC, but they did announce they're not going to do any DLC because they like yeah. Which is I mean, which is fine. I yeah, guess. which is fair. I mean, like it's a perfect package. It's as long as that means just kiss. you're working on the Twilight Princess and Wind Waker <laughs> HD ports for the Switch. There, there. I'll be there, I'll be there, happy. There. And, dude, and then, and then, dude, the Switch. when when those come out, I'll be like, yeah, that should get remake uh, game of the year. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, you know, I actually, remember yeah. what I said. Don't don't listen to that. Yeah. So, um, but yeah. So those are our thoughts on the uh, six games. But as yeah. for which one's gonna win, um, I mean, I think realistically, I I would say it comes down to well, Alan Wake Two is such a wild card. I'm seeing so much yeah. praise for it. I was going to say it's going to come down to Tears of the Kingdom and Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, Bald- Baldur's Gate, I, as much as I want Zelda to win it, Baldur's Gate was just such a phenomenon. Like, everybody was playing it. Uh, I, you, like, capitalized on these D&D players who didn't play video games, and they're playing this game, like, nonstop now. Right. I still see, like clips and shorts i still hear people talking about playing this game like right. i don't know it's just like it's just so insane how much this game like really just changed the industry i guess yeah it's it's hard i yeah. i also yeah i think the the lineup is pretty good the only other games this year that might have deserved to be here were like final fantasy 16 and oh. starfield and even those are like, like they maybe deserve to be nominated, but I don't think they would have won. Yeah, I, I don't know anything about uh, Final Fantasy, so I can't. Yeah. Yeah, but. Oh, whoa, not mean. Whoops. I, no, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Almost hit a Gmail. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been bad. Um, And then, don't know why it moved everything. So that's. Oh, wait, what? What happened to. It, it like. It, it deleted. It of. Uh, uh the the one game a resident evil yeah <laughs> oh did they uh, take it <laughs> wait what what happened why is it it's like gone now yeah it's just gone <laughs> what? what hello <laughs> uh okay huh okay well anyway <sighs> yeah uh, it's let us know what you guys think uh in the comments you know what game you would have liked to see who you think is gonna win right uh, did you play tears of the kingdom we had like a half half of uh zelda review kind of in there so you know let us know what you thought of zelda as well we should really i mean we should come out with a video for it yeah i don't remember it was before all our schedule switching so we like yeah yeah. well we'll figure something out like yeah (laughs) well yeah tell us what you guys think comment below what's your favorite color and your favorite game uh my vote personally is going to go towards tears of the kingdom Derek. I mean, yeah, say Baldur's Gate. I want Tears of the Kingdom, but I'm gonna say Baldur's Gate. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. If we're going by, ah, uh, yeah, I'd probably say the same way. Like, I want Tears of the Kingdom, but Baldur's Gate will probably win it. Yeah. Which, 
that's fine with me. Yeah, let us know your thoughts. Join, become a member today. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.